Please, Miles Saunders reports tonight on a couple of blue-collar guys who've made good a story found only in California. 4-1 of Summer Sanders with a convincing... Up on the middle fork of the Yuba River in Sierra County, they're going back to work these days, back to work deep underground at the biggest gold mine left in the district, the 16 to 1. This is a story of how a couple of blue collar guys have kept a mine going in hard times. I worked uh, for about a month, and uh, a friend of mine by the name of Randy Yeager called up and he said, Come on, let's go up and uh, fool around the mine. And Ian and I were both unemployed. So I just thought, hey, what a great idea. Let's, let's see if we can go for it. It seems at times like mining from the next century. Squawking and chattering sounds like robots out of Star Wars. The idea, hardly original, was to take metal detectors in to see what miners over 80 years might have left behind. There's a target right here. This is what I call a screamer. When it goes up to that high-pitched scream, I have a real dense target, and like I said, it could be this big or it could be this big. What they found in the last seven weeks is $300,000 worth of gold, often tucked away from the original miner's eye by six inches or so of quartz. The old-timers would be turning in their grave if they knew had these things. There she is. This is gold. We were surprised at the uh, metal detector being an exploration tool and the success that it had, but we really maybe all of us underestimated the strength of this mine. Uh, this, the this specimens have ranged from the small to, in terms of gold, the huge. It has, for now, breathed some life back into a mine that shut down in December by buying it some time to find new long-term investors. All of it apparently because a few unemployed blue-collar guys, rock musicians by night, hard rock miners by day, got a wild idea and went with it. I was real skeptical and I kept being pushed into it. I decided, what the heck, got nothing to lose, so we tried it and it's, it's worked great. In Allegheny, Miles Saunders, Channel 3 reports. Woohoo, still gold in them our hills. And that small gold bar you just saw there, saw him pouring it, said to be worth about... $70,000.